Isn't that good? Are those almonds? Brings it to another level. So we are spending three nights in a national park that we actually came to for our honeymoon. 13 whole years ago. I know. <laughs> we are in Yellowstone National Park. We'll be sharing our entire time here in Yellowstone in this vlog. We're going to be driving both the lower and upper loops here in Yellowstone. Um, hopefully see lots of wildlife, um, the geysers and... Old Faithful. Yeah, Old Faithful. And Gotta just, do it. <laughs> just enjoy our time here back in Yellowstone. And we're camping right here in Yellowstone, which is awesome. We're in the heart of the park. Join us as we explore Yellowstone National Park. We are entering Yellowstone from Cody, Wyoming. So we're right here coming in the entrance here. If you only have three days to spend in Yellowstone, I definitely feel that you can see a lot and do a lot in three days. Our three day itinerary is hitting some of the most beautiful and popular sites in the park. I forgot how huge this lake was. Beautiful up here. Yellowstone National Park is huge, but did you know Yellowstone Lake is the largest high elevation lake in the USA that's located at 7,733 feet above sea level? Not too bad. No? It is so beautiful, and it has many beach areas you can pull off and enjoy. Plus, there's tons of different rivers that connect to it. Flowers are crazy beautiful here. So we're here at the end of July. Wildflowers are full bloom right now. We just went to a general store in Yellowstone, picked up a few beers. This one's a hay bear honey kolsch, a German kolsch. They sell beer here, so I'm sure it's okay to have one on the shoreline. Why not? Okay, the lake called us in. We heard some people screaming on the shore. They yeah, were it's doing. It's a great sign of yeah. screaming. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> the cold dip is happening in Yellowstone Lake. <clears throat> Two, three. Okay. Oh, woo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we made it to camp and we are staying right here in the middle of Yellowstone at the Bridge Bay Campground. So we booked this campground well in advance. It was the only campground that had any availability left when we ended up deciding we were gonna come to Yellowstone this summer. I think it's like $33 a night. You can't pick 
your site number. They just ask for the length of your unit and they select your site for you, which you know how that is. That's not ideal. But it was the only campground here that had any sites available and all the dispersed camping is just way outside the park. So we just didn't want to have to make those long drives every day. And we're literally right across from Yellowstone Lake. So it's a really good location. So they put us in loop C and site 144. That's where we're located. But yeah, it's pretty tight here. Um, the sites are pretty close to each other. We knew going into this, that's how it would be. Um, and we're okay with it just because we don't plan on being here very much at all during the day. We hope to take up a lot of our time exploring. And for $33 a night in the middle of a national park, you can't really complain. All right, we have some wonderful spaghetti, pasta, and meatballs, Caesar salad. So today we are spending the day doing the lower loop of Yellowstone. We kind of talked about this yesterday. There's two major loop drives here at Yellowstone. There's a lower loop and an upper loop. Today we're gonna to do the lower loop, which brings us to all the geysers. We're definitely looking at this trip in a totally different perspective than our last times we were here. When we were here in 2010, we kind of didn't really even know what a national park was. Like mm -hmm. we were super young and mm -hmm. 13, 14 years ago. So yeah, we didn't really understand it and learned a lot since then. Yeah, so. we've said this before, but our goal in life is to visit all the national parks. Um, this was our first, right? Yeah, this was our very first, well, Teddy Roosevelt. Technically. Yeah. Was technically yeah, our on first the, one. On the way here. On the way out. On the way here, yeah. Good one being the first one, Teddy Roosevelt. You know, yeah. Makes sense. Teddy Roosevelt, John Muir. Yeah. Origins of the national park system. So with that said, let's go explore Yellowstone. Let's hit the road. Our first stop of the day was the West Thumb Geyser Basin. It has a nice boardwalk area that you can walk along to see all the colorful hot pools, mud pots, and geysers. This thermal area sits along Yellowstone Lake, so the backdrop views of the lake and all the steam were pretty gorgeous. We spent about 30 minutes here walking around and enjoying the area. We are at the most popular area that everyone knows about in Yellowstone, and that is Old Faithful. Old Faithful is set to erupt roughly every 65 to 95 minutes. When we arrived, we just missed the last eruption, so we decided to keep on exploring. This area is similar to the last geyser area, but much larger. We walk the upper geyser trail, which is about three miles round trip. Yellowstone's a gem, it really is. There are more than 150 thermal features in this area alone. We passed stunning blue, orange, and yellow hot pools along the way. But the main attraction we were looking forward to seeing the most was the beautiful Morning Glory Spring. Yes, this vibrant pool is located all the way at the end of the Upper Geyser Basin. But I tell you, the walk is worth it. It's known to be the most beautiful pool in Yellowstone because it resembles the Morning Glory flower. So we kind of came into today expecting massive crowds here at Old Faithful, and it's been so quiet. It's, fun. it's been Great. really nice. Um, but we did get here early-ish, like 9 a.m. We rolled in. It's like so, 11 now. It's yeah. Packed, uh, we got to walk all the way back though. So yeah, I mean it was going to be a good three hours we spent here walking and seeing all the pools, especially Morning Glory. Worth, Beautiful. Worth it. <laughs> so there's a dead buffalo right next to this geyser. <laughs> All right, another beer that we got at the market, Lewis and Clark Brewing, Golden Ale. Cheers. Mm, that one's nice. Do you like that butter? It's a little lighter, yeah. We just pulled over here quick to have breakfast, except Vince is having lunch, he's having beer and ramen. <laughs> And I'm having breakfast, I'm having yogurt and oatmeal. So our next stop is the Grand Prismatic Overlook Hike. Um, I don't remember how long, it's not very long. I think it's like a mile round trip. Uh, it gives you an overlook of the Grand Prismatic uh, Geyser. Almost like glacier. <laughs> Now 
now we're gonna go see Gibbon Falls. It's just a short little walk right here from the parking lot. Next on our Lower Loop Drive is the Norris Geyser Basin area. Yes, more geysers. There's a bunch of boardwalk areas in this thermal area as well, but we decided to make this a quicker stop. So we just did the Porcelain Basin Loop, which is just under a mile. That was our last stop for today. Oof. And I think we are geysered out for the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love the geysers, but we're tired. We've been going since 7 this morning, and it is like 3.30. 3.30, yeah. Yeah. It was such a good day, though. Oh, my God. Love Yellowstone so yeah. much. So, so happy to be here. We're getting gas here right in Yellowstone because, well, we have to. <laughs> gas is 4.29. Could be worse. Definitely could be worse. So, funny thing, um, but it's just the reality of what we like. <laughs> Well, we are parked making dinner, but we are not at our campsite. We're actually at a picnic area right across from our campsite. Because, um, yeah, yesterday, you know, we had made dinner at our campsite. Everything was fine. But the campground is so packed in there um, that there's, you know, people and children and everyone. It's just, it was so loud and non-peaceful. Literally right across from our campground is the marina and a whole parking area with a picnic area. So we just backed in here. We're gonna have dinner here <laughs> in peace. Enjoy the views. Then we'll head to camp. Tonight at camp we're doing a shrimp dinner with green beans and a Caesar salad. Have some wild caught large shrimp and season them with Old Bay seasoning, some salt and pepper. And then we have some green beans. We're gonna put in with some garlic and some almonds. Now we're gonna have butter. Now we're gonna try the Grand Teton Old Faithful Ale. We were there today, but we didn't see Old Faithful. It's okay. <laughs> we bought the beer. That's my favorite so far. And dinner is served. Turned out excellent. swimming across rivers. You made it. Yes. It's huffing and puffing the whole time. Woke up to four elk in our campsite again. Good morning. Yeah, it's not even seven yet. <laughs> Greetings from Yellowstone. <laughs> so today we are doing the upper loop here in Yellowstone. So another full day here and we're going to be kicking it off at the Grand Canyon. But you might be thinking, wait, isn't the Grand Canyon in Arizona? They do. However, there is a Grand Canyon here in Yellowstone. There is a south and a north rim drive. We're going to do both. We drove the South Rim first to see the Upper Falls, and then at the end of South Rim is Artist Point. The Grand Canyon of Yellowstone is roughly 24 miles long and 1,200 feet deep that was carved by the Yellowstone River. Artist Point is one of the most photographed spots in Yellowstone. Next, we made our way over to the North Rim, which has five main viewpoints. We just took our time and made stops along the way, enjoying the canyon views. We spent a little bit over an hour exploring both the South and the North Rim. had to pull over and just look at all the wildflowers. There's just pinks and purples <laughs> and yellows. What a beautiful day here in Yellowstone. It's perfect. So we are on Mount Washbourne Drive. That's a nice little gravel road off the main road. We're just pulled over here to have a little breakfast here at the top. It's beautiful views along this drive. The whole drive going north here is unbelievable views. Bear! Bear. Woo! <laughs> 
far away, but we saw him. <laughs> Okay, we are at our last stop of the day on the upper circle. Mammoth Hot Springs. Mammoth Hot Springs is another large complex of hot springs that are on a hill of travertine, which if you don't know what travertine is, don't worry, we didn't either, but it's a form of limestone. There's up to two miles of boardwalks through the Mammoth Hot Springs area where you can explore all the different hot springs. However, we decided to park at the lower terrace section and see the Devil's Thumb and the Pallet Hot Spring area, and then drove to the upper terrace section and did a quick stop at the Grassy and Canary Spring area. Bad, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is the best last night meal we could have asked for. Yeah. That was great. Uh, that was great. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for dinner. You did well again. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this three days in Yellowstone vlog. We have officially bumped this to the top three national parks of our favorite national parks. It's my favorite now. Yeah, it's his number one. Yeah. Glacier is still my number one, but this might be number two. I really have fallen back in love with Yellowstone. It's really a special place. Mine's Yellowstone number one, Glacier number two, Rocky Mount National Park number three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, mine's That's probably it. a mix of those three. That's it. It's hard. To, really, it's hard to like. Yeah. This is the best that, you know, they're all special in their own way. Yeah, for sure. But like for overall like experience, like our personal experience. Yeah. We definitely feel like we checked off a lot of the big items, even some of the small items, kind of gave you some ideas of, you know, where to camp, what to do. This Bridge Bay campground, even though it's super crowded, it is in such a perfect location. But you and can do like dinner out of the campground. You can come here and, you know, cook and stuff. Yeah. If you don't want to be in the campground. Yeah. Right across from the campground is two lake drives. So, and yeah. there's tons of pull-offs just like this one where you can just come and have dinner right yeah. before you're heading back to camp. So. Go to camp to sleep and that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.